Well, after a 15-game regular season, it all comes down to this for Sajir Muda and the Philippine Patriots. We are going to overtime, tied at 71 at the end of regulation for Sajir Muda. A win, and they are in the playoffs. The Singapore Slingers losing today to the Chang Thailand Stammers, 66-65. Van Paul for the Patriots, a win here. And they'd be the number two team, and they would gain home court advantage in the semifinals against the Dragons. Both, both important for different uh, significant reasons. However, this is a this is a everything on the floor for Satria Muda. They're going to leave it all out there because two games ago they wouldn't have expected to be in this position. And now, you know, sometimes when you play basketball, you play better when you've got nothing to lose. And that's what the Satria Muda team has done the last couple of three games. The Brunei Barracudas making things interesting, having been knocked out of the playoff race pretty early on in the season. They upset the Dragons, 87-73, and that opens the door for the Patriots. So it's Abanez, Billones, Freeman, Thomas, and Crisano for the Patriots. Kiko Adriano going to the floor. Still Pat's ball. Satra Muda begins overtime with Adriano, Morrison, Wusong, Broxy, and Marlon Legaspi. That's what I like to see, Sean. Players hitting the deck, uh, diving for loose balls. That's what That extra effort is what's gonna get you that extra possession. Pats with the ball, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Rosano. Flips it over to Bill Jonas. Now here's a Banyas to Freeman. Abanez for three. Oh, Crisano, good offensive board, and no one covering him. So he goes upstairs. No answer for the big men on the Patriots side throughout the whole game, including overtime here for Satria Muda. Song has gone pretty much the whole way at the point guard spot. Good defense here by the Patriots. And that forced Morrison to rush a three-point attempt. Bill Yones, other end of the floor, pulled down by Morrison. Morrison again playing for the foul, and Morrison guilty of anticipating a foul, Paul. And letting go, and uh, giving up on the play on that one, expecting the foul to be called, don't wait for the whistle. He, uh, what he should be doing is going all the way to the other end, even if he does hear the whistle anyway. Marcus Morrison today, just three of 15 from the field. Bill Yones for the triple. Crisano, and gets his own miss. Oh, nice and alertly pass. passes to Thomas. Heads up play by the Brooklyn native. Two key plays for Crisano so far, back to back, giving the Patriots the four point lead, making it a two possession game. And the Patriots trapping and force a Sajir Muda turnover. That's a good call by Louis Alas to earn possession back. Usam frustrated on that play. As we can see, Broxy now uh, being attended to. When games go into overtime, players get tired, fatigue starts to set in, and there could be injuries, so players have to be careful at this point. So playing without their big man, Donnie Ristanto in the game at the center spot for Sajir Muda. Freeman for three, in and out. Look at that box out. As soon as we saw the shot being taken, Thomas took a position on the inside. Crisano took a position behind him, and one of them got the rebound. Fouls against Satra and Muda. I believe that was called on Morrison. No changes to the lineup for the Patriots. Persano throws it back. Morrison respecting the outside shot. Crossover dribble from Freeman. Thomas, offensive board, 
and the putback, exploiting the Donnie Restanto mismatch. I think in six, the last six points, the, the only six points we've seen in overtime here has come from offensive rebounds and putbacks, and Satria Buda Britama are not aware of this. 2.40 to go in overtime. Patriots leading by six. Overtime continues when we come back. This program is brought to you by AirAsia.com. Now everyone can fly. Ladies and gentlemen, are ready for departure. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for flying with us. Two forty to go at the Britama Arena. Back to the live action. Stephen Thomas called for the foul on Morrison. Just the second foul committed by Thomas, and here we are, halfway through overtime. That's good defensive play all throughout by Thomas. Thomas has completely dominated the inside on the offensive end, on the defensive end. Satria Muda has shown that the way they came back and brought themselves back into this game was by making steals, defense, rebounds, and making those fast breaks, not the three-point shot. Satria Muda, 20 of 32 from the free throw line. They have missed. 12 free throws in a game they trail by five. Cut off by Wu Song. So a two possession game facing Sachar Muda. Trying to play their way into the ABL playoffs. Ristanto over the top. Patriots just not respecting the Donnie Ristanto inside shot. Good battle on the interior. Thomas leaning into Ristanto. Crisano, baseline J, 18 feet beyond his reach. Wusong stops, pops. Off the mark, loose ball. And that will be Sadra Muda on the inbound. And a guy, Bill Yones, shaken up. Tom Bilahatu looking to make some changes get Kiko Adriano on the floor. Yeah, accidental there as you saw. It was just a plain hustle play, which is what we've been seeing so far from both teams in overtime. And no foul called, and Bill Yones yet to get up. And Paul, a most hostile crowd here at the Pratama Arena, <laughs> booing a guy, Bill Yones. Well, the, the Satria Muda is certainly not making it easy on themselves to win this game. Uh, they seem to play better when they're down, making it a comeback nearing the end with one and a half to go. They're down by only three. The Villones not putting any weight on that left foot, so he may have turned an ankle. All right, play continues here. 125 to go. Kiko Adriano on the floor now. Morrison for a three. Loose ball. Oh! And they're going to give that to Satria Muda. They bailed him out on that one, Sean. Again, they don't need the three quite yet. They could still go for, for a two, the easy two, and open up the floor. It'll still make it a one-point game. The shot clock is off here. And now they've got it going again. So nothing developing from that inbound play. 107 to go in overtime. Patriots looking for the number two spot in the playoffs. Sacha Muda looking for any spot in the playoffs. Here's Thomas. Wow, no one's sealing off. 
Shot clock violation. The shot clock continued to go because the initial shot from Thomas did not touch the rim. And the Patriots, they failed to pick that up. Well, Satria Muda is very lucky for that uh, shot clock violation because they were still unable to box out the big men for the Patriots, which is Thomas, the main man, Crisano, Freeman, very active on the baseline. See the ref, the officials here trying to get it straightened out. The shot clock had expired. So we see Broxy favoring that left knee, getting treatment. So they clear this one up and they say shot clock violation. Freeman is going to track down the official. He's saying that the second shot came before the shot clock expired. And the second shot did get it. And you know what? I think he's got a beat. He, he, might, he might have a point there. However, the ref's call is the ref's call. It's not going to be overturned. And the best thing for them to do right now is focus on playing defense. They hold a three-point lead to the Pats. Thomas cutting off that pass. You see Broxy, he can barely get down the floor now with that left new leg. Yeah, seems to be pulling up on it, grabbing, clutching at his back, uh, left back hamstring. Patriots in no rush here with the possession and a three-point lead. Abanez for three, and Thomas underneath. Still Pat's ball. Another. And the shot clock expires again. Now that one clearly didn't hit the rim. No arguments from Thomas on that one. Wusong saying that he got hacked, asking for a foul. So the shot clock now is off. Officially, 19.3 seconds on the scoreboard here at the Pratam Arena. Satya Muda looking for one shot or... Foul's no good. They need a three to tie. Here's Morrison, way off, and that's going to do it. In overtime, the Philippine Patriots defeat Satra Amuda on the road, and the Patriots claim the number two spot in the Air Asia ABL playoffs. Heartbreak for Satra Amuda, Paul. They had an opportunity to reach the ABL postseason, Antoine Broxy, a gallant effort, but that left knee gave out on him down the stretch, and Sancho Muda out of the running for a spot in the playoffs, and the Singapore Slingers, despite their loss, are in. And that's a tough way to go out in overtime. What a heartbreaking loss for Satria Muda. As we've seen time and time again throughout this game, we can see Broxy now being helped off the court. That's how much she put into this game, leaving nothing left. And of course, we see Morrison take that last three. We've seen it earlier in the game. Morrison has not made that three throughout the game. So maybe there should have been somebody else who's taken that shot. Unfortunately, it was the last option that they had to go with. So the Satya Muda Britana team unable to make the push into the postseason. Disappointment for them. Let's send it down to Hilyani on the floor. Thank you, Sean. Yes, this is Hilyani Hidranto. I'm your reporter for Air Asia ABL. And right next to me is the MVP of the game, Steve Thomas. Congratulations on the game. You played really well offensively and defensively. What motivated you to win this game? I mean, you know, it was a team effort. You know, I mean, we, we've lost our last two games. and. This, this is the last game of the regular season. We're about to go in the playoffs, so we wanted to go in the playoffs with a win, you know? And we knew uh, that Indonesia was going to come out and fight hard and scrap. So they play hard. Right. And the playoffs is coming in soon. You guys are number two in the playoffs. How confident are you in going into the playoffs? Oh, we're very confident. I mean, we're ready. I mean, we've been working hard. And uh, Coach Louie and his staff have been uh, preparing us for the, uh, for the playoffs. All right. Well, congratulations once again, and good luck in the playoffs. Thank you. Back to you, Sean. Steven Thomas, a demon on the boards from the start, and he was really overmatching for Antoine Broxy. Well deserved for Steve Thomas throughout the game. He was dominating on the offensive and defensive end, setting the tone by grabbing offensive rebounds and really putting the damper on Broxy's hopes of handling the inside game. 